<sighs> What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you watched last week's video till the end, you know that I went to the liquor store to grab some tequila for today's video. I also told you that our selection here in Quebec is pretty sad. What I meant by that is we don't have many options, but Don Julio Blanco is one that I love and I'm going to use it today to make one of the most iconic summer cocktail, the margarita. Obviously, at home, if you have a beautiful selection of tequila, feel free to use the one of your choice as long as it's 100% blue agave tequila. And if you use Bang Bang, it's not on me if the cocktail is bad. That being said, today we're going to make three different margaritas. Tommy's margarita, my version of the classic, and we're going to make a clear one. So if you guys are ready, let's go together to Margaritaville. And let's start with a Tommy's margarita. So for the ingredients, we're going to need reposado tequila, agave syrup, and we're also going to need freshly squeezed lime juice. So first, in a shaker, we're going to pour two ounces of our tequila, one ounce of agave syrup, and one full ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice. Then we're gonna fill our shaker with ice and give it a good shake for about 10 seconds. And now we're simply gonna strain the cocktail over ice and this is completely optional, but I love to sprinkle a little bit of sea salt over it. It opens up the flavor, gives a little bit of saltiness that I love in a margarita and then I will garnish it with a lime wheel. And this is it, this is how we make a Tommy's Margarita. Cheers. Now let's make my version of the classic. And to make it, you're gonna need Blanco tequila, orange liquor, I'm using Cointreau, once again, agave syrup, we're also gonna need lime juice, and my special ingredient, an orange bitter saline solution. To make it, it is very simple. You're simply gonna weight 10 grams of orange bitters, in which you're gonna add one gram of sea salt. You're simply gonna stir until the salt is dissolved and then you can bottle it back and this is how you make a saline solution packed with orange flavors. So now in a shaker, you're gonna pour two ounces of Blanco tequila, three quarters of an ounce of Cointreau or orange liqueur, a quarter of an ounce of agave syrup, 10 drops of our bitter orange saline solution, and we're gonna finish with one ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice. Then we're gonna fill our shaker with ice and once again, we're gonna give it a good shake for about 10 seconds. Now that we're done shaking, we can rim our coupe with sea salt and fine strain the cocktail in it. You can also garnish it with a little lime wheel if you want, and this is it. This is how we make a classic margarita. All right, so for the clear margarita, we're not gonna clarify it this time. No, we're simply gonna make a cordial to make it look clear. And to make it, we're gonna need water, agave syrup. We're also gonna need citric acid, the zest of one orange, and also the zest of two lime. So first, in a large container, you're gonna weigh 250 grams of filtered water, 70 grams of agave syrup, and eight grams of citric acid. You're gonna stir to incorporate all the ingredients together, and then you can add the zest of one regular size orange and the zest of two limes. You're gonna stir again to make sure everything is dissolved. You're gonna let it infuse for four hours, and then you can simply fine strain it to remove the zest. And this is how we make an orange and lime cordial for our clear margarita. So now, to make the cocktail, in a mixing glass, you're gonna pour two ounces of Blanco tequila, one ounce and a half of our cordial, half an ounce of Cointreau or orange liqueur, and once again, 10 drops of our orange bitter saline solution. Then we can fill our mixing glass with ice and stir it for about 60 revolutions. Last step, we're gonna place a beautiful block of clear ice into a rice glass and we're gonna strain the cocktail over it. You can also garnish the cocktail with a lime wheel if you want, and this is how I make my clear margarita. Cheers. And 
And that's it guys, three different margaritas. All of them are good, but the Tommy's Margarita is the perfect option for when you don't really like orange flavors. Then my version of the classic one is, in my opinion, the perfectly balanced margarita. Beautiful vegetal notes from the tequila, orange flavors, just a little bit of salt to make all these flavors pop. It is bright, crisp, refreshing. I love it. Then the clear one is pretty similar in taste than the uh, classic one, but it's beautiful looking, completely clear. And not to mention that because there's no fresh juice in there, you can prep it beforehand before you're ready, just like one, two, three weeks before, place that in the fridge and take it out whenever you're thirsty. And that's it, you're fully equipped to face the heat wave. So that's it for me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Hit the like and the bell if you want to make sure not to miss the next video. Until then, thank you very much again. Have a great day a wonderful summer and see you very soon. Cheers. Hmm. Now all I need is a pool. Let's go. Have a wonderful day, a wonderful summer and see you very soon. Cheers. Now all I need is a pool. even more refreshing than the cocktail. <laughs> and a towel. I need a pool and a towel. Thank Cheers. you, my love. <laughs>